what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? I don't know where this happened at, but I saw this video of a woman getting into a road rage incident with a man. She was standing outside near his 18-wheeler truck. They were going back and forth, and she asked him, why did he throw a bottle at her car? And he was like saying something about they threw something at him or something. I, it was hard to make out what he was saying. It was just really cussing real loud. But I did make out that he told the woman I just got out of jail for attempted murder. And as soon as he said that, it was like, Arr! she was like, she dipped. I mean, as soon as he said, I just got out of jail for attempted murder, she was, okay, well, I'm going to believe you. And boom, she gone. Here's the thing, family. This is why I want to talk about this video. And I'll put a link in the description. When you're out there on these streets, you don't know who you're dealing with. There are a lot of crazies on these streets. Family, I'm about to save your life. If you're hot-headed, I would advise you to calm down. If you are the type of person who's temperamental, you like to cuss people out and blow your horn a lot and all that stuff, I would advise you to pump your brakes because sooner or later, you're going to meet your match. Somebody is not going to back down and you're going to have to make a decision. Do you take off, swallow your pride and go ahead and suck it up? Or do you engage? And the thing is, there's a good possibility that you may not get a chance to engage. They might get the drop on you and come out shooting. You have to ask yourself, was it worth it? Is it worth it if somebody cut you off? Because that happens a lot when people get cut off. They, that's when they really go crazy. Somebody cut them off. Oh, man, people lose their minds. Is it really worth going to the penitentiary, spending a whole lot of money on lawyers, spending time in jail. Is it worth getting shot, getting killed over a minor traffic infraction, which is usually a misunderstanding. Sometimes I cut people off. I know I'm cutting somebody off. But I'm driving a little aggressive. I'm trying to get to where I want to go and I'm just not being courteous. And sometimes people blow their horn at me and yeah, 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 yeah. And I just keep looking straight ahead because I know if I look at them, I'm going to want to say something back and I'm, I'm going to want to engage. I don't like to argue because I always think of arguments like they can escalate. Most people that we know that are dead right now that were killed violently. An argument ensued prior to them getting killed. This is why I don't even argue. I try to stay away from arguing because I always think about what is the worst thing that could happen? The worst thing that could happen is somebody could get killed, be it me or the other person. So I just try to avoid arguments because if I get to a, a situation, if I get to a point where I think it can go there, I just try to avoid it. And if I can't, I can't. But I try to avoid it because I understand that conflict is costly. Even if I win, I could end up taking an L. So I try to avoid it by all means, but if I engage, I try to make sure I'm right.
And once I'm right, I feel that I'm I'm right and I'm legally right, not just feeling like I'm right in my head, but I feel like I'm legally right. Once I smash the gas, it's on. I'm gonna smash the gas all the way. Like I'm going all the way. And I know what I'm capable of doing, so that's why I try to avoid those type of situations. I can see people from a mile away, I can see what's about to happen. I can see stuff happening before it even happened. I can see tension before an argument even happens. I can tell what's about to go down. I just be peeping it. Like I can just watch people for a moment and see what's happening. Even in the clubs, I see people, I see a little tension, see a little friction, and I can tell based on people's body language what's about to happen. So I move around, get out of the way. When I was younger, I used to get closer to the action. Now, when I see it, dip out the way. Because bullets ain't got no name. And anything could happen. But I brought you this video, fam, to just remind you. This is almost like, you know, reminding a person to calm down and, you know, maintain their, their, will keep their emotions in check. It's kind of like defensive driving. You know how you be okay until you get a ticket. Then when you get a ticket, you go and you take a defensive driving course. You thought that you was alert, but once you take that de defensive driving course and you leave, you all of a sudden you, you're, you're sharper. Your instincts are sharper after you take a defensive driving course. That's kind of how it is when you're reminding a person, trying to remind a person to keep their emotions in check. You know, manage that anger. We all got a little angry streak. The key is to manage it. Make sure that whatever outcome you want, that your actions are indicative of that. Whatever trying to outcome, whatever outcome you're trying to achieve, make sure that your actions are consistent with the outcome you want. Now, if you want to get shot in the head, keep on acting, keep on blowing your horn and yelling and cussing at people while you're driving. You know, want to get somebody else shot in the car? Keep on doing it. Want to have to end up shooting somebody? Keep on arguing. Keep on arguing with strangers, people you don't, you don't even know these people. Just yelling and cussing and cutting people off and blowing that horn. Keep on doing it. Something's going to happen. And it ain't going to be pretty. I'm telling you this because I love you. No more talk. What, what, what the haters talking about?